Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. I'm Nick Park, and taking us through a series of short five-minute messages, and we're seeing Jesus in every book of the Old Testament. And right now we're in the book of Isaiah. And we've already spent a few days in the book of Isaiah, because there's so many references to Jesus in Isaiah. We could never cover all of them. I mean, just the verses that are quoted in the New Testament, it's quoted over 85 times in the New Testament. But the last passage we're going to look at from Isaiah in this series of studies is Isaiah 61, whenever Jesus stood up and preached in the synagogue in his hometown of Nazareth. And first of all, he stood up and he read from Scripture, and he read from Isaiah 61. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful passage. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. And so Jesus read out that familiar passage of scripture, and he was he would have, according to custom, he would have been standing as he was reading from the scroll, and then he sat down in the chair, the chair known as the seat of Moses, the chair where a teacher would sit and then expound on what they had just read. Uh, now, the reason why you stood and then you sat was this, that when you stood, it was the word of the Lord that you were reading. When you sat in the chair, you were giving your words about it. And so it was okay to sit down then. But Jesus sat down in that chair and he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. That's about the shortest sermon I've ever heard. And yet, I've like all of us that are preachers, we've preached long messages that we thought were powerful. There's none of them were like even a, a fraction of as powerful as when Jesus spoke those words. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Uh, the implication obviously was that he was the one that Isaiah was talking about. He was the Messiah. And that was considered blasphemy by many Jews. And so it caused an uproar even in his hometown. Yet one thing we often miss is that Jesus stopped in the middle of a sentence. When he finished by saying, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, it's not even halfway through a passage, it's halfway through a sentence, because it continues, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Now why didn't Jesus read out the second half of the sentence? And the reason is because it was not yet fulfilled. Some of it has now been fulfilled and is being fulfilled even now in the church age. Truly, he has given us, instead of ashes, a crown of beauty. And for those of us that were mourning, he has given the oil of joy. And he's given, instead of a spirit of despair, we now have put on our garments of praise. But he also said to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God. When Jesus Christ appeared the first time, it was to provide himself as a sacrifice of sin. It was, it was in order to preach love to us. It was in order to share grace with us. It was in order to lead us into a relationship with God. But he will come back again as a judge. And then the second half of that sentence from Isaiah 61 will be fulfilled. But now, for now, we rejoice that Jesus is the one spoken of in Isaiah 61. And even in that day of judgment, we will rejoice because you and I will, if we are, belong to Jesus, we don't face judgment because he bore the judgment for us on the cross. God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.